Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be teaching you guys about artificial neural networks and this will be the backbone of the entire series. We'll discuss what they are and look at how they are structured. We'll also look at the different types of artificial neural networks and the appropriate use cases for each of these neural networks. We'll cover neural networks at a deeper level through the series though so this video will serve mainly as an introduction to neural nets. First things first though, let's define what an artificial neural network is and what it does. Now Wikipedia defines an artificial neural network as an interconnected group of nodes inspired by the simplification of neurons in a brain. What this means is that artificial neural networks are computational models structured like neural networks in a brain. And the intent of this is to try and mimic how we as humans learn to solve problems. And these networks are pretty much the backbone of what deep learning is. Now we'll take a look at what these networks look like and how they are structured. Now the basic structure of an artificial neural network consists of these nodes or neurons grouped into layers. The first layer is called the input layer and as the name suggests, this is where we input data for our network to process or learn from. And the last layer is the output layer and this layer shows the model's prediction or output. And the layers in between are called the hidden layers. These layers perform some transformation on the data we feed to the network and generate our model's output. Now in this particular model, we have two hidden layers, but this is not necessarily the structure for all neural networks. And the number of hidden layers vary from model to model. But each network will typically have an input layer and an output layer. The number of neurons in each layer also vary depending on the model's use case. You'll also note that the neurons in each layer are connected to the neurons in the preceding layer. These connections are useful for training the neural network and each of these connections has an associated weight to it. We'll look into this however in a later video where we discuss the training of an artificial neural network. I'd also like to add that while this example may be useful for explaining what a typical artificial neural network looks like, not all neural networks have this structure and we'll cover the different types of neural networks and their structures in future videos. I will however introduce you to these types of neural networks and their use cases in this video. The simplest of these neural networks may be the feedforward neural network and in this network data travels in one direction. It goes through the input layer and travels through the hidden layers all the way to the output layer. These type of neural networks are useful for problems where the data to be learned is neither sequential nor time dependent. We also have convolutional neural networks. The connectivity pattern in these networks are inspired by the animal visual cortex and their most common use case is in image processing. Convolutional neural networks have special layers that filter through images and pick up on patterns, which they then piece together to make a prediction on what the image could be. Last but not least, we have recurrent neural networks. The connections in a recurrent neural network form loops, and these networks have a state. The loops in the network give feedback, making these networks ideal for solving sequence prediction problems, such as handwriting and speech recognition. Now, this list is not at all exhaustive of the type of neural networks, but these are the ones I'll be covering in this playlist. We will take a deeper look into these types of neural networks in future videos. I will also show you how to build them using TensorFlow 2. And in fact, in the next video, we will build our first neural network using TensorFlow 2. So if you're looking forward to that video, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you there.